Hi everyone, it's Fanola Howard from How Great Marketing Works and today we are on the wonderful uh, Make It Bite Sized uh, Instagram account, so that's wonderful. So, it's just nice to be back, you know, <laughs> I've kind of missed doing these lives, it's been kind of, yeah, so let's see how we get on today. First one back for 2022. Look at the sky beside me, and yes, it's cold, <laughs> but oh my god, it's so lovely. I had to move where I was sitting um, here at home because uh, it was too uh, bright for me to actually talk to you guys. But anyway, okay, get to the point, Fanola, all right? So the point is this. This is Ask Fanola How, episode 27. Can you believe it? Episode 27. And this is a great question to start off with. And I'll read it to you today as I squint in this beautiful sunshine. When you have a new business, actually, this is a good question for any time. It doesn't have to be just when you're a new business. But when you have a new business, at what stage do you need to spend money to grow your business when you don't have any money? OK, <laughs> but I mean, I'll always challenge that question because there's always ways around everything. Um, it's the beauty of having the internet and loads of accessible tools. Okay, I digress. I'll get to the point. So when you have a new business, at what stage you need to spend money to grow your business when you don't have any money? Where do you spend your money? Outsourcing subscriptions to make life easier? What? I'm at that stage now where I'm busy and spending a lot of time doing things. I'm not earning an awful lot of money, so I can't pay someone to take on some of the tasks. Okay, I'm going to answer that specifically, but I'm also going to answer it when you have a little bit more money, okay? Kind of three or four things to really, really think about when you're investing in your business. And the first thing I would say to this wonderful entrepreneur who asked this question, um, is you're already ahead of the game because you're asking that question, because you realize that you should invest in your business. It's such an important part of it because we can get caught in business in this period of stasis and i've actually worked with a lot of clients where i might be called in because they get stuck even at 10 years it's not just about new businesses i've had worked with people who've been stuck somewhere um and they've been there for 10 years so it's about doing something differently but as a new business the thing i would say to you is great that you acknowledge you have to invest it's really important because in order to grow a business we have to grow and sometimes in order to grow new information, new techniques, new ways of looking at things have to happen. Um, and that's the first thing. And the other part of it is we also can't do it all on our own. OK, so they're the two really key things. OK, so the first thing I would say to you, and this is pivotal because it's mindset. And I think this is the really first key thing you have to think about is and it's to plan for the success. And not to just plan for the sex success in the sense that we all hear about planning, but it's actually to plan it in a way you start by believing that the success will happen. And that's the really key point, because a lot of people will talk about and we talk about a lot of this in the Get Strategic program, which is that you look at this idea of this dream and this dream being something intangible and something I'd love to do that. And it becomes very fuzzy up there. And what I'm wanting for you is that this dream is not fuzzy. This dream is something that is within your reach. And sometimes I kind of want you to reach higher for it because you can do more. But also to take the dream and to grab it and bring it right here in front of you so you can see it. So you have, you can look at it up close. It's not fuzzy. It's not smoky, unclear. And then with that dream in your mind, I will always do that. How can we make it bigger? But let's come back. Look at that dream and say, how do I plan for that? Because the mindset is huge because some of it, when we dream, we have to be bigger than ourselves. And very often it's scary, not very often, always it's scary, okay? It's just the level of how you cope with the fear around it. But it's this dream means that you have to wear a different suit of clothes to, to sit into a different identity than when you, where you already are. And what we want to do is actually see you believe that this is possible. And this is the dream that is possible for you. 
So this is the work that has to be done first, which is this belief piece. And when you, and sometimes uh, it's a quote I got, I can't remember where I got it from. Sometimes it's the empty handed leap into the void to just trust and just to believe in that success, in that dream that that dream can be made real. And the second part of that is plan for that to be real, plan for it to be real. That's really important. And when you plan for it to be real, it becomes, and the trick around the planning is not to overload yourself because entrepreneurs will try to do everything today and then get disillusioned by it. So we pace the dream. So we make the dream real, then we find out how to pace the dream, okay? So this is our believability piece because otherwise, in my experience, businesses meander when they don't first believe in their own dream they often then forget their dream. They don't plan for that success because they don't quite believe it's possible. So whatever you need to do to believe that this is possible, sometimes that's around who you surround yourself with, doing the numbers on it. I've seen this amazing effect where someone does the numbers on the dream and that makes it real, okay? So really make it real, okay? That's really important. So, if you have a business dream of where you want to take your business, even when you're only starting out, start to think, I always like people to dream five years out, but sometimes if that becomes a little bit too far, then dream three years out or dream two years out. But I would like you to extend how you dream about your business and then actually come back and pace that dream and actually do the steps to actually help you really see that there is a plan here. Now, the next thing is there are points on this journey when you see how to actually see that roadmap ahead and the piece to invest in is the piece that grows you. You ask the question of this is where I am, this is where I want to go and in order to get to there X must happen and X might be I need X more customers, I need a certain type of customer, I need to change the market I'm in. You start to really see what is the thing that will grow me and that's what you invest in because it might be investing in more time for you, less like being able to delegate to somebody else so you can put your time and expertise into the thing that grows you. So it's always the question is invest in what grows you. What is the piece that will grow you now? And the kinds of things that you invest in is efficiencies, systems, you're asking yourself, do I need to automate here or do I need to delegate? Do I need to become more efficient with the systems that run my business and make me more efficient? Or I actually do I need another pair of hands? So in the systems piece, even when you're starting out, there's always something that can, you can do better because there's so many apps, so many tools that you can use. You can have tools that um, help you be more efficient with your social media, seeing as we're here more efficient with how you work with your clients. You systemize how you work with clients. You figure out what is the email that you send to them, every, the same kind of email that you send every time you onboard someone. Like set it up as your manual, create that manual for how you systemize your business. A great book for you to read would be um, The E-Myth Revisited by Michael E. Gerber. And it looks at that idea of you actually growing beyond yourself. And in order for a business to grow, you have to grow beyond yourself. And it doesn't mean that if you say, no, that's not true for no, I only want to be a solo entrepreneur. You can be a more efficient solo entrepreneur that has more growth and more business if you are more efficient. And even as a solo entrepreneur, you may also want to outsource and delegate to somebody else. So you look at where your true value is. Where is the essence of what you do, the uniqueness that you bring to the market that's where you spend your time because likely that's where the growth pieces will come from. So look at where your core strengths are and then see the things that someone else can do for you. So if someone else can do, if you've identified that, and we do this as part of the Get Strategic process as well, looking at what are the kind of ring fenceable items that you can delegate to somebody else really effectively. When it comes to delegating, you need to think about a match. A match between it's not you're not engaging a robot you're engaging another beautiful human being 
and that beautiful human being has to be treated with respect and an acknowledgement of what they bring to the table. So we're not wanting to be kind of micromanaging that person. We want to release them to bring the true value to you because this, this is actually brings you delight in your own business because this can happen. So you start with really understanding where you need help. And then you, you know, put your feelers out to get someone who can actually fill that role. And you look at when you're evaluating who to work with, you make sure that you have the same values, that you have the same, you don't have to have the same full belief system, but you have to be kind of in sync. There has to be a match for your vision for your business, your values for your business. If they don't have the same values as you, then they can't work with you to help you take your business to where it needs to go. So kind of having a match and getting a sense of if you articulate very clearly what your values are, then you can share that with them. And, and when you actually speak to that person to onboard them, you'll get a sense if you match more than a sense, you know, does this person have X, Y and Z of the values that you have for your business? And the other thing I would say to you is don't be afraid to share with them what you want to achieve. Because in fact, and we've done this recently um, in How Great Marketing Works, where I've shared my one-year business plan for the year with my team. And it just makes people go, oh, that's what you're trying to do. And then that, those people can say, well, I can actually come in here and help you in this way. And it can be things that you never even thought of because you trusted the person that you brought on board to help you with. You trusted that extra pair of hands that is going to help you grow your business. So I kind of want to leave you with those thoughts. So it's this idea of really believing in your success, then also invest in the things that grow you. So you plan, you believe in your success, you plan for that success, taking you from here to there, understanding how many customers, what type of customers, what kind of sales levels you want, being very specific about the numbers. And then figuring out, how do I work now? Have I got, am I really valuing every minute that I have and where I need to spend my time? Even if spending that time is going for a swim like I do every morning, because it releases your brain to think about all the possibilities. So you're finding this positive flow in your business so you can grow your business in a way that suits you and that keeps you sane not burning out because that's a real fear when you're growing a business but really calm safe forward thinking believing in your own success matching that with a plan for success identifying is it that you need to be more efficient in what you do and taking advantage of all the tools that are possible and then perhaps finding a community that can share with you the tools that are possible and then also so if you need to skill up yourself to help you expand your thinking, then you also need to do that. And then lastly, finding the right person and people to build your team and grow your team so that you get to where you want to go. I hope that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. And I'll also share this with you. It's a really good time to share this with you, which is if you feel that you need I'm always a believer that if you work with someone who's been there before you, so if you understand where you want to take your business, then someone else must have done this already or someone else can be your guide on that. So I'd like to offer myself as your guide on this next stage of your journey. And in How Great Marketing Works, we're running a 12 week challenge. We're starting on the 1st of February and in that 12 week challenge, we use the get strategic process as the spine of that whole program. And in that spine of that program, you will start in week one by benchmarking where you are now. And in the benchmarking, I'll get to see what you have in place for your marketing processes. And I'll also ask you, what do you feel your challenges are in this part of your business at this stage in your business? So that I can look and see what are the best actions you can take over 12 weeks. Because the idea behind the Get Strategic 12 Week Guided Challenge is to help you choose one action per week for 12 weeks to move your business. And I can guide you on the best action for your business. And we do this in a way 
that as a community and as a group, we help each other with those actions because each of you will be taking different actions. So if you'd like to know more, the link is in the bio and it's really exciting because you can be part of this wonderful Get Strategic community. And our purpose here is help make your dream real. Have a wonderful day. It's wonderful to be back. And I shall see you next week for Ask Finola Han. Have a great day.